How to replace the gear selection switch on the RT 1100. Does your RT do this? You turn the ignition on. It's in neutral because the neutral light's on. But the gear indicator switch says gear 2. If you put it into one it now says three you put it into two it now says two and if you go up another gear you then say three so obviously the gear switch is the thing that's at fault how do you replace that? We've got to take all of that off. Swinging arm, diff, wheel, seats, etc. Foot plates in order to gain access. Seats off. Side panels off. Rear wheel off, disc cover nuts off, caliper off, hang it up somewhere safe out the way, disconnect the ABS lead so that you can because you're going to take the uh, diff off, undo that bolt there. And then we're going to withdraw this complete assembly. Dead easy. Don't let anybody tell you it's hard, because it ain't. Undo that nut there. This, this pin in the middle is only done up to about 7 newton meters, so it's, it's fairly easy to undo once that nut's been taken off. Heat. <coughs> Heat this area here, because you need to free off the thread lock that's on this nut then undo this nut it's done up to about 120 newton meters so you will need a wheel bar to undo it once you've undone that undo that one and then you take these two bolts out this one and this one you take them out the diff is then free to come off it's pivoted on that bolt down there you can then remove that bolt and this comes off as a complete unit put it down to one side that then leaves you access to the shock absorber lower mount and then we need to take the foot pegs off or the foot plates should I say off to gain access to the swinging arm bolts I've taken the fairing off this side you can do it without removing the fairing but I've taken it off because I want to show you the wiring this is this is the wiring to the affected switch so it's easier to get to this wiring once the fairing's removed Remove the foot plate, those three bolts there, the gear lever bolt there, one bolt there and then one at the back there. That leaves the gear lever hanging there. This here has to be undone, exactly the same as the diff. This nut is done up quite tight, but this actual pivot bolt is only done up to about 7 or 8 newton metres, so it's fairly uh, loose once this is undone. Then the one on the other side is done up to about 120 newton meters, the same. Uh, that there is a shock absorber bolt. So you take the shock absorber bolt out. That means that that is the swinging arm. Once, once that and the and the bolt on the other side are undone, 
and that's undone, then the swinging arm can physically be pulled out and that then gives you access into the back of the gearbox to get to this pesky switch. Let's get going. That nut's undone. Foot plate off, undo the two bolts that hold the master cylinder, the three mounting bolts, one at the back, one there at the back. Disconnect the uh, brake light switch and then this is what you're left with. See the fairing stayed on on this side. Undo that, it's about 120 newton meters. Heat, heat this up first to free off the uh, locking compound. Then undo this, undo the other side, undo the shock absorber bolt and then the swinging arm will come away. Undo the last bolt. And then once that bolt comes out, Gently, swinging arm. There you go. Swinging arms removed. There's the switcher. Just in board. Held by two pesky seven mil bolts. So you undo them, and then you can pull it out. The only problem is, when you try and get a 7mm socket on it, you can't get the socket in. It's a real pain because all this is in the way. It's a pain. So how are you going to get it off and then get it back on again? Well, I got it off by removing the... the electrical connection but obviously I don't want to do that if I'm going to refit the switch because I don't want to break the switch in this instance I'm just putting a new switch on so it don't matter but it was easier not easy it was easier to physically get the connector uh, the, the, the the socket sorry into the nut it was still hard but it was it was a lot easier so The answer's simple. BMW made a bollocks. They should have used a cap head. So what I've done, I just bought a couple of cap head bolts, which will go in there quite easily, and then you can easily just put a, an Allen key in there, turn them up. So, you know, the... Uh, the BMW fuck up basically it makes it a real pain to do but with the cap head bolts not only is it easy to put it back together but if it is <coughs> ever got to come off again be easy to do ka -ching. there you go Julie bolted on in nice condition connect the wires up I've just connected the wire up briefly just to check that it all works and then uh, put everything back together. Swinging arm first, then the diff. Basically, reverse the strip down. And when it's finished, we should have a gear indicator switch that bloody works. Swinging arm installed, bolts tightened up, nut lock the nuts up, all in good condition, ready to fit the diff. Right now we come to fitting the diff. Make sure you've got everything to hand. The bolts, etc. Now the diff is fairly easy to fit. We've got to do make sure that the bearings are assembled and they're in good condition. 
and then you put the bottom bolt in just put this bottom bolt in just push it in so that it's pivoting on that the bike is in gear so that means when you turn the disc this will turn you need a wooden because you're going to stick that in there then put that in there and lift it up so that it engages with the drive shaft once it's engaged and you pushed it in then you're going to put the bolts in it's fairly simple you do it on your own you put it up until the drive shaft aligns and then you lift that up turn the disc in it goes put this in until you can start to screw it into the swigging arm put that in and start to swing it into the swinging arm once it starts to go in support the weight and put the rear one on same sort of thing and you just screw this that one in till it starts to go in you can then make sure that everything is okay turn the disc this bike is in gear so you can tell that that's okay you can then remove this bolt and then feel that it's pivoted okay when you do it up do this bolt here up I think it's 120 newton meters and then you do the one on the other side up to about 8 newton meters do the nut up job's done the diff is on and everybody tells you oh, that's really hard oh that's really hard that is oh, putting it oh no you need a specialist to do that no you don't don't need a specialist you just need to be able to do it and you can just see it weren't hard and it took minutes and I did it on my own so all of this oh, is a two man job no it ain't no it ain't two man job There you go, job done.